Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Lord Formand, here in Europa Universalist 4, playing as Bohemia. So, in case you've noticed, Bohemia has been going through a rapid growth phase. Uh, I've been beating up the Livonian Order and other nations in this region. Got a little bit of coalition forming against me. That's mainly because I'm in a war. They think that's an opportunity. Um, right now, I think it's mostly just single province nations. Oh, actually it's not. Spain's joined it. Ooh. That's a bit problematic. Um, we're, we're in a giant war with Austria again. Third war with them. Uh, luckily this time our allies were willing to come to our aid. Um, all of them. And having stolen a lot of Austria's heartland, they were very weak. And we've overrun them. Right now, however, we are waiting for pretty much for Great Britain to get tired of the war. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, also just kind of sitting here, uh, making sure I will keep the Imperial Throne, which is a little easier said than done. Um, ooh, that's promising. Uh, I'd like you to release that as well. No. Okay. I have to wait a little while then. I really want to devastate uh, Austria as much as possible. I love how I'm still influencing the people in the coalition against me, but... I'll deal with that. England does not want to leave the war because they don't have any uh, war exhaustion. So it's going to be a matter of kind of waiting till they get bored of it, which could be quite a while. Yeah, even the Austrians have an army over here in uh, the New World. Luckily for me, I don't think any of my allies, other than me, oh, I don't think any of my allies are going to leave me at the moment. But yeah, we've got pretty high, all these are uh, colonial nations that are unhappy. Or the Hungary was right on the edge there. Frankfurt. I was trying to turn Frankfurt back into a uh, free city. They re-emerged because Cologne was against me in that war. But that doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. Because they're friendly towards me, not threatened. If they were threatened, that would be 39. Still not enough, though. Hmm. Also trying to get uh, Pomerania or Poland to that point. But both of them are a bit unhappy with me. Specifically, Poland's in a coalition against me. But, uh, this could be a pretty boring video for a while. I'm just going to kind of be sitting here, waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Once I start coining some of this land, my reputation should go back up a bit. Oh, what the heck, let's raise some more taxes. Are we getting... we are getting some monthly stuff for exhaustion. Hey, we're most of the way to a uh, diplomatic tech. That'll be like the first one in like 10 videos. <laughs> uh, it's starting to become a problem. There we are. That should improve my relations with these guys a bit more. What does Frankfurt think of the whole affair? 30 now. Too bad they're not threatened, or that would be 39. Hmm. Not much I can do at the moment. This continuously drain of money, though, is becoming annoying. You know what? I'm not too worried about being attacked, let's mothball my forts. If England does land an army, they should be easy to attack. I'll just leave a couple on the uh, borders in my territory so they can't sneak something else. France left, okay. That's a shame. Not too big a surprise though, they had lost most of their colonial territory. Great Britain is starting to want to leave the war. 
Mm, I'm actually amazed uh, the French didn't lose any real land in the colonies. At least that I can see. Maybe they lost land over here. No? Oh, maybe it was just a white piece. I can't imagine um, they had that high of a war score <laughs> against France. be pretty unlikely. Breach Britain, 12% interest in the war. Frankfurt, you know what, let's give up on dealing with you for the moment. And ask for Great Britain to leave, not quite, 12 more months at this rate. Unless Austria is reconsidered. Still a ways to go. I really can't leave, afford to leave them with most anything. Um, yeah, let's... Okay! Okay, okay, okay. We just had a coalition attack. Um... Uh, let's stop the returning of land to Switzerland and take... Two, can I take one? Take two. And some money. There we are. First Austrian war. Okay. Actually didn't take much land from Austria itself, sadly. But now we've got a much larger war to deal with. Spain and their allies. Their allies are kind of sad. Okay. This I should be able to deal with without too much trouble. Who's my other military? 46. I'll go for Ulm, Nuremberg, and Poland seem to be the major threats at the moment. Cologne betrayed us. And we're still not allied to Triana. Still have four votes, though. Um, hmm. Okay. Not really what I want. Not really what I want at all. However, having Switzerland around again is always good. But I think they... Did they gain land? No. Well, Austria only has one territory over there. So hopefully that will be enough. Stop them. A bit worried that France, how strong France is, the, uh, not France, uh, Spain. Well, let's do what you usually do in a war with lots of people. Pick off the small ones and then go for the larger ones. We've lost the seeds before. Yeah, they're going to obviously take some provinces here because my garrisons were all mothballed. Whoa, Ulm is defensive. Oh, well, that's my general really. It just sucks at fighting siege battles, which is also very possible. Well, that French army's dead. Um, yeah. Not they managed to get away at the last moment, but um, hmm. I would send troops to help, but I can't really do that. Let's see if I can get the land from the smaller nations, and then I can turn on the larger ones. Poland has fallen. Oh, I can't piece them out because it's a coalition shoot. I forgot about that. Oh, that's going to take a lot longer than I thought. Hmm. So I'm literally going to have to bring all my troops to bear just to beat Spain back some. That's going to take... Oh boy, not looking forward to all this. 
not looking forward to this at all. We're winning for the moment because they actually have to win a lot of battles and they're not going to be able to do that at the moment. Unfortunately, there we go. Osberg has fallen. That's good. That means I can move 70,000 troops over to there. Whoops. Once I deal with a small rebellion in that place. I'm a bit hesitant of moving my army away from Treviso. I think, on the other hand, that Venice does not have enough troops to even siege it. So it's not a bad move. Don't know where I'm going to be able to deploy these two armies, though. I have to probably pinpoint isolated French armies. Oh, not French armies. Spanish armies. Most of them are weakened. I would love to get an alliance with the Ottomans, but I'm not going to be able to do that for quite some time. If ever. If ever. Not Popple Controller, but... I could get to that Holy War or something, that would be nice. Well, that's kind of stupid of Spain. Yeah. Although, actually, what was really stupid was uh, France reacting to that at all. Really don't know why they did that. Okay. With this, Poland has no military. Osberg has no military. It looks like the Livonian Order is kind of trapped bit. Riga is still around though. Oh. These sieges are just going to go on forever. Wow, this is going to take some time. This is going to take certainly a long time. We really need to join up and be able to kill them. Okay, this is also going well. France's armies are taking Spanish Italy, so that might be enough if we can get them not interested in the war. Okay, that fort's standing. Riga's under siege. Another nation that might be nice to have on my side would be Sweden, but I have a feeling they would use me to fight wars with Livonia and Russia too much. Great Horde is willing to be an ally, actually. That would be an, a weird alliance. Yeah, Spain is out of manpower again. Wow, so I guess attrition does really matter late game, because they're slowly losing troops in uh, France. These sieging troops, they're not being able to regenerate fully. Let's take out these particular troubles. Just give France a little bit of help. Once this falls, though, we're going to be in a bit more trouble. This fall at will, unless I can get Ulm taken and then move my troops down. Oh, actually, even nicer. My ruler died, and I got some more Imperial Authority. Although my heir is not that great, I am going to have a regent for a little while, which is fine with me, actually. Get rid of that. Oh, shoot. I probably should not have lowered my uh, war exhaustion using diplomatic power. 
I'm just making lots of mistakes in these videos lately. Okay, Ulm has fallen. Let's move that down. Did we get a benefit? No. More costly. Shoot. Okay, the French armies are... The Spanish armies are moving to attack the French armies. That's good news. I'm going to also attack the Spanish armies. Even though they have superior morale, I have superior numbers for once. And they are no match for my troops. Are they thinking about peace anytime soon? No, not yet. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, please see it's that the province. You know what? Okay, I'm going to move troops over there, and if they are dumb enough to siege that province, I'm going to attack them. They are dumb enough. Okay. Unless they want peace, they're going to start losing stuff here. I'll push it across. French have honestly gone way too deep into Spain here. If Spain wants to turn on them, they're dead. How are we looking? 11 more war score. Okay, so a while. We'll siege that fort on with that army as well for the time being. That should take care of us. Where is this Buha province? Oh, so it's one of the uh, interlocustrine ones. Oh, I said that wrong too. Yeah, I see a lot of things wrong, don't I? I think we have a ticking war score. No, we don't. Okay. I was hoping I would have a ticking war score. I'd also like not to be losing money continuously. How is Austria doing? 21,000 troops. That's a bit rough. Hmm. I don't know what to do, really. We'll see what is happening. So. I don't really know how to get stuff away from Spain, but I'm going to go silent here for a moment. So let me see, uh, I have to take some more Spanish land to get them to peace out, and that's for sure. Just fort maintenance is killer, I should go through and delete some forts. Losing so much money from them. Come on, Spain, you've been widely beaten there. Okay, you've also widely beaten France. Hmm. We've lost siege, darn. We have rebels popping up all over the HRE, of course we do. And I don't necessarily have electors on my side anymore. Shoot. Um, let's influence Mecklenburg a bit. Hopefully we can keep them under control. Oh, this is what happens when you don't look at your screen constantly. Stuff like losing sieges you shouldn't have lost. Although, I was probably going to lose it anyway. They had a lot of troops. The French, however, do not have a general, so they're going to die momentarily. And that, unfortunately, just stiffened Spain's willingness to fight.
Italy is slowly falling, though. Although I wish Hungary would move its troops out of the area at the moment. Oh, wow, I could take a diplomatic idea. Totally not going to do that. As much as I'd like to. Lost another siege. That's bad news. Do. My allies have to stop them actually able to take being able to take over my land. When will you leave though? Wanna end this war though, Spain? You don't have much going for you. You know what, whatever, I'm going to give up on that siege and mainly attack the, front, the Spanish armies, because that seems to be my only hope here. If I can weaken them enough, they want peace. Yay! Diplomatic tech! Yay! First one in like five, six videos. <laughs> At least. Well, that's progress. Um, really worried about your chances of survival there, France. Really worried about it. Um, okay, Spain almost wants to leave. Is there any way I can persuade them to fast? Don't know. Spain's monstrously strong. I mean, they're fighting all of us on their own, pretty much. I mean, true, there's Venice and other people, but they can't do anything. Oh, so close. Come on. Is it ticking down? Yes. Two months, maybe? Unlucky. Okay. I probably will end it after I deal with the coalition here. Um, although that's not going to happen anytime soon because the French army just got killed. Okay. Like, actually routed, I believe, here. Or will be routed soon. Okay, time to take that off. Seating that fort. Should be able to attack these guys, right? No, I can't. Shoot. I don't know how France got to that area. More loans. Of course, more loans. And even the Ottomans can't beat these small armies wandering the map. <coughs> That's probable. Troublesome. To say the least. And the merchants are once again annoyed with me. Oh, of course they are. Come on, Spain, you can't win. You can't win, even if you beat them up. Even if you peace out France, you can't really win. The air really does not weigh colonial nations' military strength accurately, because the colonial nations almost never get troops to Europe. Although apparently the Russians have sent troops to join the Spanish. Interesting. There we are. White piece. Nothing happened. Okay, let's pull out of this. Apparently one of my vassals is being a bit rebellious. Yeah, 
Saxony. Um, click it done. And I don't have alliances with the electors anymore. Which is annoying. Cancel Kondorati with you, though. Are you an elector? No, you're not. It means he's not an elector. We've got two votes. Mecklenburg... Uh, need more support. Um, hmm. That's a shame. Uh... I'll take trade power from Mecklenburg, I guess. Should get them a little bit more under control. Yes, and then if I proclaim a guarantee, possibly. There we are. Should, they should be loyal now. And let's mothball the forts and lower the army maintenance. Yeah, that's about all I can do. How are we doing, though, now? We control Mecklenburg, Cologne, and I need Hanot, Hanut, or whatever. Which I should have now. So that's four votes. Barely. Ah. <sighs> Okay, um, how many provinces do I have over here to add? 13 there, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I could have about 17 provinces. Somehow Switzerland's capital is not in the HRE, which just really sucks. It's costing me imperial authority. Oh, wait, uh, 1920 it looks like, actually, because I can do those two as well. So, getting closer, I think. Okay, even better. Frankfurt will go back to being a free city. They're still a free city. How about them? Not a free city. Not willing to be a free city. Okay, well... We have five free cities. We have peace within the empire. We will be elected emperor again. And we can add almost 20 imperial authority to disable the internal HRE wars. So, I think this is a good stopping point. And next video we'll probably reform the HRE a bit more. Add some of these provinces from outside the HRE into it. Um, things will be going good. So that will be it for this video, and I will see you guys all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.